this video, we're going to look at screen sharing with our RevTouch board. And screen sharing is just sending information from a device to the board, and you're doing that wirelessly. So you could use your cell phone, your iPad, your Chromebook, but if you use a PC or a Mac, you'll be able to interact with the content on the screen, and you'll be doing that wirelessly. That's pretty amazing. You'll notice at the top right there is a number, and that number will be shown no matter what screen you're on. And let's look at it. You can show the code or choose not to. And if you're in a business meeting or you're in a classroom, you may not want people interrupting you, so hiding the code would be a good idea. I'm going to turn it back on. We're going to need it. There we go. And the instructions are found right within the program. We're going to view the devices that are connected already. And already I've got my phone and my iPad connected, so we'll look at how we look at more than one device at a time. But we'll now hook up to our PC. And I'm going to go back here. The instructions are right here. One, two, three. Super simple. This may not be open. If not, you're going to click on the user guide. So step number one, download the sender. The sender can be accessed through the QR code, or you can type in the URL that you will see here. Step number two, make sure any device that you're working with is on the same network as your RevTouch board. Step number three, you're going to copy that code into the sender. So let's get started. I'm going to close this and go to my PC and I'll type in that number 098647 098647 and we're connected. You don't see it here because I haven't started uh, mirroring it yet so you can stop and start mirroring depending on your need. I'm going to click on the start mirroring button here and it's waiting for acceptance which I will accept. Okay, Now you're seeing my Windows machine and I'm going to show you how easy it is to interact with the programs right on the screen and we're wireless. So clicking on Chrome and I'm going to type in here, oh there's YouTube, I'll just use that one. Here we are. And I could bring up a video and play it, stop it, start it. I can even use my tools at the left-hand side. There's a, a marker here. I can even mark up those screens. Let's look at Word. And here I have a sample resume, and maybe I'm working with a group that needs to write one. And so I can turn on the ink in Microsoft Word and make marks on the screen. So we go to Review and start inking, and then we get our nice ribbon across the top. I'll do that again. There we go. We get our nice ribbon here that allows us to choose colors and mark things up, and we're going to get rid of the picture and put in our own, remember our education, etc. So that is wireless, as I said. Now I'm going to put this down. We can also go to Maps. And we're on Street View right now. We can go back from Street View. And we are in France at the Eiffel Tower. So there's so much versatility with this. And it's such a large and bright screen. Your audience will really appreciate it. Now I'm going to go back to my devices here. And I'm going to start mirroring from my iPad. So let's go back to the main screen here. I'll go to the desktop. Okay, so there's the windows, and I'm going to start mirroring here. I already put in the code here. So start and accept. And now we have two screens. So if you want to compare to architectural drawings or you want to compare to student pieces of work, you can do that right here. Let's connect a third one. I'm going to connect my phone and I'm going to put in the number 360. Seven, nine, one. It's connected, and I'm going to start. Start now and accept. 
So I've got three uh, connections here. You can see all three. I could have a fourth if I want. And I can click on the four-headed arrow here to look more closely at this one and close it. And now maybe I want to look at this one. So I go to the four-headed arrow and back to the four-headed arrow to go back to the three that I'm displaying. That's pretty easy, isn't it? So please try it out. Um, and remember to turn it off, too. And we got to do that first. So in order to stop screen sharing on the iPad, I'm just going to click on the red icon. It's gone. I'm going to click on my phone and go to the screen share app, which closes. There we go. And there's a little red icon at the right. I'm closing that. And now from my Windows machine, I'm going to click on Screen Share Pro. And you have two choices. You can stop mirroring or disconnect. I'm actually going to disconnect. And I'm back on the RevTouch board. Cool. All right, I hope you enjoyed that. Please um, try our other videos. And those are found at www.revtouch.com.